Hello and welcome to another hill walking guide. For today's walk, I climbed Ben Vanach, but it didn't go quite as I intended. For this walk, I'm not following a standard sort of recognised route. Ben Vanach is quite a remote Munro. It's only an hour and 45 minutes drive to Bridge of Orkey from Glasgow, but once you get to Bridge of Orkey, it's quite remote. The more recognised car park for this walk starts here. A little bit south of Bridge of Orkey on the A82. There's a park and lay-by. And if you follow that route, you start here and you go up this track and then you join onto the path that I was on on the way back and go up and go on over. That's roughly 24 kilometres. The walk I did was just under 22 kilometres and the planned route was around 17 and a half kilometres. The difference between those routes is the altitude that you're having to climb. The planned route was around 1160 metres. The actual route was 1065 metres and I think it's around 980 metres if you do it from this southern lay-by here. About a quarter of the way through the walk, I changed my plans on the route to take given how wet it was and the conditions underfoot. Here we have the original planned route starting from the Bridge of Orkey car park following the well-worn and trodden path to start Ben Doran, coming up to the Bielach and then at that point continue to head east and contour round trying to minimise the amount of altitude dropped but at the same time there's another Bielach over here so you don't really want to go below 650 metres there's not a lot of points staying above 650 metres because you're going to have to drop down to there at some point so it's really trying to go round and join the top of this road here this is a gravel road and from there follow the path and this is the standard approach to go up to Ben Vanach once you're on this road and there's also a path that leads down here and joins this way so you can come in from the south and go up and do a little circuit and come back out and now we're looking at the actual walk with a slight difference. I made a wrong turn at one point and I'll come back to that later. The differences are following the same path up to the Bielach. Then after that, I was trying to keep at the same altitude to see if you could get around here and then it's quite craggy. So then I dropped down and I went along. This section was really boggy and very wet, especially if you went closer to the stream here. So I was trying to keep high. As I was walking, I was checking the Garmin maps and I could see that there was actually a path on the map here. Starts at this point here and it finishes here. And there's nothing joining it. It's a bit weird that there's a path in the middle of nowhere, but there is. To avoid all the bogginess down here, I climbed up and got onto that path and I then followed that path. Again, there's no path at this section and then back onto the same path that you would follow for the normal route. When I got to the summit, I really didn't fancy coming back round and climbing back up and then going all the way up to this Bielach and then this path here, it can be quite tricky and quite uncomfortable to walk down. It's quite a rocky path. It's okay the way up but on the way down, it's not so much fun. And I've never been down this side here or along this valley. So I decided to go directly south off of Ben Vanach and then follow the path out, much easier to navigate and easier to walk on. So starting from Bridge of Orkey, you go underneath the railway track using the underpath, cross over the West Highland Way, and you go, as you can see here, northeast, following the path that goes around this little substation and mobile telephone mast. And then you follow the path, it's a very clear path, well worn, and for most of it, it's actually not too bad. There are a couple of boggy sections, but on the way up, it's quite clear and easy. Unlike the last time when I did this, it was in the snow, so it was harder to follow. And during the summertime, it's easy to follow that all the way up to Bielach, and there's a cairn at the top here. And this is where I deviate from the marked paths that you can follow. So I continue to head in an easterly direction, there were some sort of tracks, but they were probably deer or sheep tracks. So you head in an easterly direction, keeping underneath these crags, they're very steep. I went along here to this point to see how much you could fall along here, but it got quite steep, so it was easier and safer just to descend down here. Go along. As I mentioned at the start, it was quite boggy in this section. I was originally going to go across to about here and then contour around and join up with this gravel road but as it was so boggy, I kept higher. And I saw this route here. So I made my way along to the stream. And at that point, it was easy enough to climb up. It was a little bit steep, but it was easy, easy enough to climb up and get onto this path. 
And then once on the path, it was it was much easier to walk along and follow that. And then the path itself just fades away at the end here. It's quite surprising that it does. From there, you can see a fence post and there's a boggy section here. It's not shown on this map, but there is a boggy section there that you can see. And you aim for the fence posts and then you can walk up alongside the fence post and the path is a bit clearer there. That path continues on, I think around about here, it continues on to go up to this top here, but I wasn't wanting to climb that top. So you follow the fence when it bends to the left and follow the fence along and keep following the fence. Let's see if we can, yeah, so there's the fence line there. At this point you can cut across Although it would be easier to navigate if you just kept following the fence and did a full right turn. On my actual walk, I turned too much to the right. And I wasn't keeping an eye on the compass or the GPS. And I thought I just had to walk about 100 metres or so and then I would see the high point. I was aiming at that point actually to go to here. But I turned too much to the right and I ended up going all the way up to about here almost to the summit of Bene Turin. So that was a little bit disappointing at the time. But then I got my bearings, went back down, and there is a gap in the fence here, it's quite clear. Got to that gap, and then from there you walk across and the path, it's okay for a while, and again the path fades away, but at this point it's easy enough just to keep heading for the high ground, and then you'll see the cairn. When I got to the summit, I had to make a decision about to retrace my steps and go back the way I came or maybe do something a little bit different and have a little bit less altitude but a longer walk. As I had never been down this side and the path looked on the map to be clear, I thought I'd go this way. In reality, this path was very hard to follow, even with the GPS and knowing that you're exactly on top of it, there was not much signs of a path and as I worked my way down, I came down so far and then I gave up on that path. So it might be more clear further down. But as I was coming down, the cloud was clearing and I could see that there was a path over here. Um, it wasn't really a proper path. I think it was just more signs of where deer or sheep had been walking. But I did cross across here to this side and then I came down here and joined up the path about here. And having got down to the gravel road, after that, it's straightforward. You follow that road out, keeping to the left or straight ahead of that junction. Keep following that road. And you keep following all the way out. You will come underneath a viaduct here, but it's nothing like the Glenfinnan viaduct. You go straight ahead and follow the road. Go straight ahead again at these junctions. Follow the road. And then you join up with the West Highland Way at this point here. And at that point, cross over the bridge and then turn left. And from there, you've got about a four or five kilometre walk, something like that, along the West Highland Way. It's quite a nice walk. And you make your way along and eventually return back to the train station car park. Hello and good morning. I'm at the Bridge of Orkney train station. And I'm here to do Ben Vanach. It's not the normal route for doing Ben Vanach. Once again, the midges are absolutely murder. So leaving the train station, follow the same path that you take to climb Ben Doran. We're heading up there to the Bilach, but instead of turning up to the right as you would for Ben Doran, we go straight over. The midges have been a lot worse this year than they have the past few years. I mean, there's always some at that train station, but there's just, it looks like there's about 10 times more. It's a lovely start to the day, but the weather's meant to turn about lunchtime, get quite wet, get quite wet. I'm heading pretty much east. Very slightly north of east, but it's mostly east up to that Bilach. Once I get to the Bilach, continue east and go straight through and then curve round the side of the mountain to the left, following the contours. Need to drop a little bit of height because it's quite steep and then it flattens off and at that point we can go all the way around the side to the left. Eventually it joins up with the road that comes in from the normal car park 
area for this walk. There are pros and cons. Going this way, you save about, I think it's about seven kilometers in walking distance, but you increase the altitude you've got to climb. So it depends what you like or dislike. Rain is starting to come on quite, I wouldn't say strong, but it's definitely more than just drizzle. Time to put the waterproofs on. I've reached the Bila between Ben Doran and Ben Adothi. Sun is trying to poke its way through the clouds. It's not succeeding. Rain's come back on. From here, head straight ahead and go back down the other side of the Bila and then keep to the left hand side. Try and cut round as high as possible, but it does get quite steep, so you want it to be below the, the steepest part. Just looking back at the b lac I've actually managed to keep fairly level with the b lac There was a bit of a path, probably for deer, not too sure. Ben Doran is up in the cloud up there. I've checked the map, looking ahead. I really just want to head down and be level pretty much with the, the stream down there. I want to go around the left hand side a little bit above it. So I'm not going to go all the way down to the river. But I am going to start heading down and then go around to the left. So just come down that steep bit. A wee bit, a wee bit slippy, a wee bit loose underfoot. It's very wet here and there's no path. So it's a bit rougher going. So you may prefer to take the longer route with a road so it's easier to walk along. And I think you could probably cycle it. I've not looked into that. Ben Vanach is straight ahead, but it's behind the top that you can just kind of make out in the cloud. Uh, there's a top there, then it's a bit further back. Between here and there, there's a road or a track, gravel track, that goes up at the lowest point between here and there. Looking at the Garmin map, there's also a route about 800 meters on the left and 50 meters up. Looks like there's a track that joins where the path 
There's a road that's going up here, way between the mountains, and there's a path further up going along here that joins that. So I'm going to try and keep at this altitude, make my way around until I get closer to that, and then go up sort of 50 meters and hopefully join a track higher up than I originally planned. But I, if that track is there, I'll obviously have updated the map at the beginning to show that route. path I'm looking for is 300 meters away in this general direction but 100 meters up. The easiest way to find it is I'm going to cross a stream and it's at the top of that stream so if I, if I don't make it up high enough as I'm going round, which I doubt I will do, I'll probably go straight ahead, get to the stream then turn left and follow the stream up until I join the path. And by taking that path it avoids me having to descend any further. The, you can just make it out now. So the path down there, the gravel track that goes up and round the side, it goes behind the hillside here. I've approached that stream I mentioned. So the path is 200 meters up there. So I'm gonna just go straight up, see if I can join onto that path. And then that path should just go over to the left in that general direction. That was a really steep climb up there. No path to follow. Signs of where sheep have been walking up and down. The good news is, there really is a path here. I don't know how strong it'll be, but it looks fairly clear just now. So this should go round to the left and stay quite level until it joins up, probably above that actual gravel track. I think it's a bit higher up. But it'll join up the path that goes up to onto Ben Vanach. Oh, that was a bit of a slog. I've pretty much come to the end of that path. From here I want to head down to that boggy section, keeping to the right hand side and kind of going straight on. It's very hard to tell on the map. Somewhere there's a path around there. I do not want to go up to the first summit here. That's at 912 metres and there's a Bielach between that top and Ben Vanach. And the, that B lack is about 840, so you'd be going up quite a bit and then coming back down. So what you want to do, head to that boggy section. So it's heading up from that boggy section, heading a little bit south of directly east, but mostly east. And I'm aiming to cut the corner of the first top and go directly to the B lack. There should be a path that goes that way, but it's very difficult to see it from this distance. So I'm heading to the swampy bit and then going east. Thank you. 
I'm down at that boggy peat bog. You can see the fence and there's signs of a path going up the side of the fence. There is a faint path going along the line of these fence posts. Just come to the end of that line of fence posts, it actually goes off to the left and the path at this point also breaks off to the left. I've cut back across to the fence line. I think that one was going too near the first top for my liking. There's still a faint path here. I can at least keep going in this direction until I'm level with the BLAC if this doesn't turn up to it. And then at that point go straight up to the BLAC. It's quite difficult to find or follow the path here, but if you keep following the fence posts, it looks like it'll be okay. At some point, we'll definitely need to turn right, but keep going uphill, should be on the right track. Come to this big fence post, it's starting to flatten off. The Bay Lac is quite a broad one here, a couple of hundred metres wide. I'm not actually on it yet. I need to head south and go up there a little bit. Uh, there's no real clear path. I don't want to go much further in this direction because I'll start losing altitude. And there you go. A very faint path. So I'm going to turn right, head into the cloud. It's not that much further, a couple of hundred metres to the actual top of the BLAC, then turn left and head up to Ben Bannock. A little over one kilometre to the summit from here and 100 metres of altitude to ascend. And it's quarter past 12. That's almost four hours of walking. After everything I said about trying to avoid this first top, I ended up turning too much to the right when I left that fence post and came straight up to the first top. <laughs> it's, it's a bit annoying, a bit careless. So I need to head east, directly east from here. And to help with that, I've got my compass out. I'm really at the point in the BLAC where you go down and up. So we'll go through the gates there. It's not really a gate, it's just a break in the fence. Go through that straight on up the other side. Just approaching the summit of Ben Vanach. 
after that little unwanted detour. Not much to see. I think this is the exact same as it was the last time I was here. Hi there. So from here, I'm going to head west and then south and eventually go down and walk all the way around Ben Doran rather than going back up and over that BLAC between Ben Doran and Ben Adothi. We're going to go all the way down and round. Get out of the cloud, hopefully get a little bit better weather and get to see Ben Doran from a different side. I've never been down that, that glen. Takes you to a nice viaduct railway bridge. And then walk along the West Highland Way for a couple of kilometres back to Bridge of Orkey. It's got a little bit brighter here, the wind's calmed down. Still very slight rain. And the time is quarter past one. That's five hours from setting off. It was meant to take four and a half hours, that little detour up that other top cost me probably half an hour, maybe not quite. So I made sure I had my compass out and I followed the GPS. Because you want to get the start right, there's a very faint sign of a path there, but there's not much to it. And it's going to bend to the left. So I'm going from west to heading to the south. It's hard to see, so I'm going to check the GPS again. The GPS shows me being right on the path, but as you can see, there is no clear path here. Yeah, nothing at all really. Good news is I have some visibility. I want to head straight down to that that road you can see it's quite well made and from there head to the right and then out there straight ahead all the way up you can even see the viaduct make out the time time zoom so I'm heading all the way out to that viaduct join the West Highland Way and turn to the right and go around Ben Doran so Ben Doran is over there again, still in clouds. No, just heading straight down here. Because I can't see the path that's marked on the Garmin maps, I was looking to the right, and it looks like there's a couple of paths going right down there. So I'm gonna head over there and see if that's quite an easy track to follow. a bit more like it. Those people were coming up the fence line but there was no path at the fence line. Looks like there might be a path over there, so I'm just going to keep heading across to that, that little ridge that's going down there, and then go down there. As long as I'm going down, it's not too steep, and I'm heading towards that direction. Can't go far wrong. There is a path here. 
I'm not sure if it's a deer path, but yeah, I could follow it as long as it's not too steep. Just make my way down. It's quite nice just now. You can see across the Bielach between Ben Doran and Ben Adothi. That's where I came over this morning. And then came down a little bit, but then actually went quite high up. You can go in this way when you get down to the bottom there. Take the road that goes to the right and then climb all the way back up and over that. I've made it back down to the road. It wasn't too difficult. A tricky wee stream to cross just because the rocks are slippy. So we'll just head to your right once you get to this road and it'll be a long walk out down to the left. Until you get to the viaduct then turn to the right. The time is 10 past two. So that's Ben Doran up there. Still looks like the summit's in cloud. But it's not far away. And Ben Vanach is the one at the back there, right in the centre of frame. You can just see the summit of Bendoran just in the light cloud there. Doran, a lot rockier and cliffier than what you normally see. There have been a couple of river crossings like this. This one's a bit trickier, definitely a bit deeper. If your boots aren't waterproof, you're going to get wet feet. Walking poles, as always, really helps just to keep you steady and place your feet on the way across. Eventually the sun's actually come out. And door is clear. A bit more grey over that way.
keep following this road around the side of the farm there. In a little bit I'm going to come to a bridge that crosses this river on the right and at that point I'll also be joining the West Highland Way. There's then, a, I don't know, four or five kilometres from there back to Bridge of Orkey along the West Highland Way. Just joining the West Highland Way, I'm going to turn right across this bridge and it's just under five kilometres back to the car or back to the van at the Bridge of Orkey train station. Nice view of Ben Doran. I suspect this part of the walk is going to get a bit busier. Been a lot of West Highland Way walkers in the past few months. Or maybe even runners. Yeah, certainly a day to go walking later on. It's all nice and clear now. That's me back at the train station. Hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to showing you more of Scotland in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>